I'm going to tell you in this video what is quick capture, what is time blocking or time boxing, not to overload to do's and getting things done. Stay tuned till the end of the video. Of course, that will give me watch time and also you get a killer tip with which you can complete all your tasks without procrastinating. I'm Shubhajit, I'm a performance marketer. I love to make videos on productivity, workflow automation, and Final Cut Pro. If you're into these type of contents, you can consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell icon. Honestly, anything that adds value to work-life balance and making your life a bit more meaningful. So let's get started with today's episode without any further ado. You wake up in the morning and the first thing that you do is fill your to-dos and your to-do is overwhelmed with 10 to 15 tasks for the day. You're so happy. The day goes by, the net resultant is zero. You're busy with Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, other social media, or maybe some unavoidable task. The name is called procrastination. How do you deal with it? I'm going to discuss this in this video today. Every day, my day begins with diary entry while listening to podcasts or audiobooks. Here I put all the possible things on the paper in respect of, of priority. This is called quick capture. Quick capture is a technique to capture any ideas on paper or an app irrespective of priority. As David Allen, author of Getting Things Done says, your brain is to have ideas, not to hold them. So you are just putting down the ideas onto a blank canvas. Again. I'm at a flexibility to add some more stuff even at later part of the day. I would roughly take 10 to 20 minutes on this exercise. And then while having breakfast, I will prioritize the tasks that I have scheduled so far. At this point in time, I will decide which would go onto my diary, which would go onto my Notion. Uh, Notion is uh, the app that I use for uh, daily management of tasks. Which one will go for Siri plus reminder? Uh, so why do I use Siri plus reminder like uh, you know the task which I need not put it to great emphasis I put those kind of tasks with Siri and reminder however on that particular day I have to complete so it has a deadline for that particular day that is where uh, I use Siri and reminder and then uh, which will go for that week so my weekly reminders and which will go for my monthly reminders so once I write all these things onto my diary, so at, at I mean in future, if I come back, I can always refer to the notes that I have made. At the same time, I can check uh, on the Notion, the project management application that I use. And uh, I, can, I can due date it, I can do like multiple things with Notion and Infinity. I will just link them down and uh, you will have a better understanding. Never overdo your to-do. What happens in that case is, I know it's incredibly satisfying to see those to-dos to be completed for that day or that week or month that if you're not able to complete it, you get into a phase called analysis paralysis. So what is analysis paralysis? It's a stage where your mind or subconscious mind is not able to process it any further and you know, it just gives up and I don't want you to be there. So I want you to take action. The easiest way to overcome analysis paralysis is taking that first step. Once you take your first step, it is comparatively or super easy to get started with your things. So yeah, my tip to you is just get started with any given task and you will eventually complete it. And that brings us to our next topic, which is planning fallacy. It's a law. The law tells you that an underestimation of a time that you give to a particular task. Let's say that uh, there is a task uh, which might take three days. However, you want it to be super productive and you want to complete it within one day. Remember, what is happening here is you're hitting your efficiency right so the quality would get down your efficiency should be always above 99 and uh, you know uh, it's a good practice if you can make it to 100 percent all the time why not all right so that is planning fallacy and that brings us to our next topic which is time boxing time boxing or time blocking i mean i have made a complete video on time boxing and time blocking if you want to take a look i'll just uh, link in the i button you can just have a look here all right However, let me tell you in a gist what is time blocking or time boxing. People like uh, 
Elon Musk, Carl Newport, the author of Deep Work, and uh, Bill Gates, founder of Microsoft, they all use uh, the technique called time boxing or time blocking. What happens here is they schedule a particular deep work time for let's say 30 minutes and uh, within this 30 minutes they will be working let's say for 25 minutes and 5 minutes would be break. So in, that, in this case what happens is your mind is completely productive on a particular given task and uh, you're doing a deep work to get that work completed within that given point in time. It is, believe me, it is incredibly powerful method or a technique that I use all the time. So uh, there are a couple of apps which helps you with time blocking. Uh, for iOS users, you can use an app called 3030. Yes, I would agree with you. It doesn't look intimidating. However, you can give a try. You can also use Notion for that case. However, you have to customize uh, Notion uh, with your uh, need for uh, time blocking. And uh, for Android users, uh, you can use an app called uh, Do Now, which uh, does the job uh, decently. So yeah, that's about uh, today's episode. I hope you like it. And if you like it, please make sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon and share the goodness with your friends. Until next time, be productive, let AI do the work.